What is going up guys? Welcome back to the best day trading, investing, news, anything stock market related. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on Findes. So for those of you that do not know what Findes is, it is a free scanner for stocks. Scanners are the best way to find stocks to trade on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. You can filter all of your criteria. You can put in if you want to have stocks with news. It is a great thing. So go to findas.com here. And this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. This is just kind of like how I use the platform. So they do offer a elite program starting out at 24 uh, 96 per month. Maybe we'll get that. And if we can get, how about this guys? If we can get 30 likes on this video, I'll get this for you guys and we can run this with the trade idea scanner. So 30 likes hit that, hit that like button. All right. So let's jump into it here. So Findes is a free alternative to other popular, uh, popular you know stock scanners and how Findes makes money it's super super easy is they have that uh, elite program and they allow ads on their site so that's how they make money it's very very easy easy way um, so advertisements do pop up but overall it is a good software so for the elite package the elite package is all real time and the uh, free package is delayed 20 minutes. So I would not recommend this for actually day trading, but more for swing trading or even long-term investing you can look at to find stocks because you can still look at stock charts and everything like that. So uh, this is the home page right here. So as you guys can see, we have the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and the S&P 500. So this is pretty much just the overall market. Um, and you guys can see we're green on the day, uh, which is great. So now in the uh, middle, you know, the middle left, I guess, uh, we have the top gainers, stocks with new high, overbought, unusual volume, and all that stuff. So these are stocks that mostly are going up. Now on the middle right, or the middle middle, really, is stocks that are losing or have new lows or very volatile most active downgrades and insiders selling and some earnings after now here in the uh, middle right here we have a sector breakdown so as you guys can see we have stocks from technology financial services customer goods basic materials healthcare and all the other ones. So just by looking at this, you can say, all right, well, financial um, had a couple big movers, same with tech. Uh, services was down, a lot of green. Uh, utilities is down. So you can just get a general idea of where the stock market's going just by glancing at this. So as you scroll down here, uh, they do have a little signal chart here, which is pretty cool. Um, signals are just, you know, just, I don't know how to describe it. They're just kind of alerts that alert you if there's either trend lines or horizontal resistance, uh, channel going up or down, bottom, double bottom, kind of they pick up patterns for you. It's super cool. But um, so this is mostly just, you know, stocks that are going up and down that have hit this. So what I always look at is stocks uh, channel up right here. Now these stocks, sometimes you can find some good swing trades on here. See this one's slow and steady going up. Um, you know, and then there's CMT, which has taken a dip down, you know, slowly climbing up. Um, you know, here we have the news uh, coming in. You know, the last news alert, alert was at 11:27, so you know, a little bit ago, but. So this is the first page. I mostly don't get down to here because this is like Forex and bonds, futures. Honestly, I don't really pay attention that to 
to that type of stuff. But uh, um, so the next thing here, the next menu item, is the news. Now the news is very very simple. They have the news on the left and then blogs on the right. So you can kind of see what's going on in the market. You can find different things that you find interesting. You can just click on them and it pulls up the article and you can read it. So it's pretty cool. You know, you can look at stocks and kind of see what's going on with that. Now, the uh, screener is where the magic happens. It's where the money gets made. It's where the, uh, it's where freaking every, everybody makes the money here. All right, so here we have all of the filters on the stock. I like to just put them all together. So we have the descriptive, fundamental, and technical all together here. Now, this is where you can start customizing your screener or scanner. Now, what I always do to find a good swing trade, I'll just do it even though that's not the title of this video, we'll talk about it here. Uh, so I like to change the price here to $20, under 20. I like to change the average volume to over 500,000. So now we're just slowly getting this total down. So it's at like 3,000 here. We're slowly getting this down. So now it's at 840. Now, we want relative volume, pretty much anything over 1 or 1 1.5. So we're going to just go over 1 right now. Um, so now 840 to 181. And now we want the pattern. We can go channel up if you're a long bias trader. So now we have 180 down to 18. Now we can either look at valuation just to see what's going on. Uh, we can look at ownership, financial, custom, or charts. Charts is by, by far the easiest way to kind of get a direction of the stock here, whether it's choppy, going up, high risk. And now you just slowly start going through it. Now you just look for something with upward trends that are hitting some support lines. That's what I always do. So um, something like this that is slowly going up. Maybe there's a little play here because it broke out of that little flag. You know, you can just play around. So that's what I would recommend doing on this screen right here. Just playing around with it, guys. Just figure out something that works for yourself. Um, I'll put my video here in the description so you guys can Come and check it out with how I find stocks to swing trade. Now, the next thing is maps. Currently, really don't mess with this uh, too often. It's very similar to that front page, um, that sector breakdown, but you can actually zoom in and you know compare and contrast all the other different types. I don't really look at it, but if it's something you're into, by far, check it out. Now, groups is something that I do look at because I enjoy looking at sectors um, so here we have the days performance week performance months per performance three months six months one year and year to date performance so looking at this you can see by far which one was the best um, kind of I can't even say that word kind of great Conogram it? I can't I can't say it. Um but anyway, so you can know that tech, um, customer goods, there's all different types. So this is just a different way where you can find stocks to trade. Now you can go back to the screener and actually input some of this information in to help you find stocks that have a better performance. So here we have portfolio. Uh, don't really mess with this. You actually have to be logged in. Insider, don't really use this as well. Talks about insider trading and everything like that. Um, ownerships by different types of people and directors. Um, you know, something that if you're into, it's great. Now, futures is pretty cool because uh, it does break down some uh, relative performance. And there is a ton of different stuff that you can actually click on, see what's going on with it. Pretty cool. Um, now here, if you're Forex, <coughs> oh, excuse me, you can click on it. Or there's the crypto here, don't mess with it. Um, there is back test right here, uh, but you do have to be subscribed. I had a free month here before, 
and it was pretty cool because you could back test different types of stuff. But so that is just a quick tutorial on how to use Findes for trading the markets, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please sure to like, subscribe, comment if you are new. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive. Drop a like and subscribe. Peace out.